Hello everyone, in this video I would like to explain you one use case where it could be interesting to change your uh, GS1 barcode nomenclature that is set by default in Odoo by something else. So just before beginning, for a reminder, if you want to use the GS1 barcode nomenclature, make sure that the barcode is activated, that you have set by default GS1 nomenclature here. And if you want to adapt the barcode nomenclature, you need to be in debug mode to see the menu barcode nomenclature just here. So if we go here, you see that you have one specific nomenclature for the barcode of your item and one specific nomenclature for the packaging of your barcode. But imagine in this use case that your supplier for example, for him, in his GS1 barcode, the box of 50 units, for example, is uh, with a 01 and not a 02, as for you in your DB uh, for packaging. In this case, imagine that so all the product you will receive by your supplier will use a 01, but you need to say that inside this packaging you have x units or you can do that so first of all what i suggest you is to change the order just to make sure that the sequence uh, is first on the packaging and i will add a packaging in the name like this it's clearer for you packaging and instead of 02 i would say 01 like this i'm aligned with uh, the GS1 barcode I received from my supplier. Because in this use case, specific use case, my supplier always use uh, 01 instead of 02. Then this is done. So I can go to my uh, product. On my product, as I have uh, activated uh, the packaging feature, I can see that here under the inventory tab, I have my different packaging. I can move, oops, sorry. Units first. So I have uh, units, pack, box, and pallet. Each time I have different uh, quantity inside and I have a barcode associated to. My product is tracked by lot and with an expiry date. So, and the name of my product is product A. So everything is, has been configured. And now you will see that I can uh, create a PO, for example, with, I uh, would say, Asian Terrier for my product A, I would say five units, and I can confirm. So now my receipt is the 14, I can go to the My Barcode to process it, it's that one. And from here, I will scan the barcode of my product containing, it's a GS1, uh, my barcode of my packaging, my lot number, my expiry date. And so my packaging corresponds to X units, here it's 5. So you can use uh, the Excel file that is in attachment in the smart class, uh, in the toolbox. So you can see here I have the different information. And I will use the um, the barcode here that is set by default, saying, okay, this is the barcode of my packaging, followed by the expiry date, followed then by uh, my batch number. Uh, so I can take that one, go on my receipt, and here I will accept, uh, I will change my barcode here by the one I had in my Excel and as I don't use the 02 that is set by default for the packaging but the 01 then it will take all the information considering even it's a 01 that it's a packaging if I would like to take another uh, packaging related to my product I don't know why I cannot, I will refresh. I 
look for my product A. Now it works. I take inventory and I will take my barcode corresponding, for example, uh, to my palette. So I take it and now I will reuse my barcode, remove the packaging barcode corresponding to uh, the five units and take the one corresponding to my palette. And now you see that you have 105 units. And if I want to use the one corresponding to one unit, I can take that one and you will see that it will work as well. Wait seconds. Voilà. So it works uh, perfectly. Just one thing that you have to pay attention. If you use that, you won't be able to set as well the same barcode here for the units as well in the general information. Otherwise, you will have a pop-up saying that you cannot have twice the same barcode number because it should be unique. So if I take that one and then I try to put it as the barcode of my product, uh, and now I will just uh, save. If I try if I try to move here yeah, to save, it would say okay, packaging already uh, uses this barcode, so I cannot use it. So you see that as it should be unique, you cannot you cannot have both, but you can place all the information from here, and so from here it will play. Uh, the same rule as you have set the barcode here in the general information. I hope it helps you and give you a good example why sometimes it could be interesting to change the barcode, the, the GS1 barcode nomenclature that is set by default in Hadoop. Have a good day!